Rhonda, thank you so much. And as Rhonda mentioned, it was also the hottest day of the year so far. Of course, that extreme heat putting lots of pressure on things like pipes and air conditioners. And today it forced hundreds of people from a city building. On the hottest day of the year so far, the AC is out in Texas Center. And you can see it on the faces of the hundreds of city employees trickling out of the building by mid-afternoon. As the day went on, uh, particularly after lunch, uh, getting a little uncomfortable in there, especially if you move around. No one forced us out of the building, but uh, people trickled out. When he'd finished as much work as he could stand, Don Perryman sought the solace of the AC in his truck. Doing better already. At the public library on Manchac Road, one library visitor stopped to see why the doors were locked at 3 in the afternoon. And the sign in the window said it all, closed due to air conditioning failure. The heat and the dry ground might be to blame for low water pressure in this South Austin neighborhood off of Blarwood Drive. A one-inch service line burst last week. City crews repaired it late last night. There's a danger of that with dry ground, but Austin Water Utility isn't seeing a rise in the average number of these calls. There you go. The heat is good for some people. The snow cone stand around the corner from one Texas center got plenty of business today. Does it help, uh, help cool you off a little bit? A little bit until we finish them. We come on the especially hot days. How come? Because it's just a nice treat. And Natasha Chambers knows how all those city employees around the corner feel. It's very bad. Like, our AC at home is uh, not working. So, yeah, we uh, try to do anything to get cool, anything, even if it's spying uh, snow cones. And get this, for the third time this month, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT as it is known, set a new electricity demand record between 3 and 4 this afternoon. Both One Texas Center and the Manchac Road Library are scheduled to reopen with air conditioning tomorrow at their normal times.